and you watch it when it takes off and when it lands. The wing gets bigger. Yeah. There's a piece of the wing that it they extends cur- out. It extends out and yeah. curves down. Mm-hmm. So the more wing surface they have, the more lift. And since it curves down, yeah. there's pressure, air pressure on it to lift it up. Yeah. Now take that whole thing and flip it. And now what they had on the on the Formula One was there's a curved surface that comes up. That's that extra lift the plane is getting by pointing down. Now you want extra pressure coming down from the speed going forward. And that's what's on the back of the Formula One. So why can the same kind of wing that lets an airplane climb into the sky make a Formula One car feel glued to the ground? At high speed, a modern race car's wings can push it down with a force greater than its own weight. In theory, if you had a smooth tunnel and enough speed, the car could drive upside down on the ceiling without falling. It sounds like a magic trick, but it comes from very ordinary physics. How fast moving air pushes on surfaces. To see why flipping a wing changes everything, we have to understand what a wing is really doing to the air around it. A wing is not special because of some mysterious lift power. It's special because it shapes the pressure of the air around it. Air pressure is just the force from countless air molecules hitting a surface. When you're standing still, that pressure is the same in all directions, so it cancels out. 